All right. So this here is my shop. It's a little dirty at the moment. We've been doing some yard work and some reorganization. There's all the tools that we have, but primarily for making grid beam, right here is our primary weapon. This is a little contractor's table saw. I took the fence off it earlier because I've been doing some work with making wood puzzles, but normally when the fence is on here, I'll set it up to about uh, 1.5 inch because that's what I cut my sticks to be. And to run it through here, I have a... Well, let's go upstairs and check my lumber yard real quick. I'm not quite sure how large they are. But, uh, that's what I start with. And I will rip it down to things of about this size for my six, 1.5 inch by 1.5 inch on the side, as accurate as wood will let you get. Wood being organic material, it doesn't like to be nice and square like metal. But anyway... How I get this set up is, uh... I used to measure each and every one of these holes painstakingly and mark a horizontal line across where the holes need to be drilled. And then I take them over to my drill press. And on the back of this, I mounted a piece of wood that ensures that the tip of the drill bit goes down to exactly three quarters of an inch from the edge of the wood where the holes need to be spaced. This thing is served me well. I've never really had to readjust it. I always check my measurements just to be sure, but it's been pretty reliable once I set it up. The only problem with that is, is I had to measure each and every hole on this thing. So I went to the makerspace in Dallas and I brought the problem to them and we were trying to come up with some kind of mechanical solution. But what they came up with, and it's turned out to be really, really cool, was a template. This is a piece of right angle aluminum you can see there, pretty straightforward. The bit in the drill press right now, I had to go by to cut all the holes in this. I measured this thing once perfectly and then cut uh, little template holes in it. So now whenever I want to measure something rapidly, I just lay it down and get a pencil and stick it through the hole and make a mark. Now for whatever reason, either because I'm assuming the wood is not perfectly straight, the holes in this template are not perfectly lined up. So I still need to have the stop on the back of the drill press to make sure that the holes are all centered in the wood. But it does measure the length correctly. So that saves me a ridiculous amount of time which I would otherwise be using just to measure each and every hole. The tools that I ended up finally resorting to to measure this and what I used to do to measure these and I still use this to check is a carpenter's rule. This thing folds out to about uh, six feet or so and it's better than using tape because at the end of the tape you notice how they have that uh, stopper. The rivets will actually come loose after a while so you won't get an accurate measurement. And while the tolerance with grid beam, especially with wood grid beam, is pretty high, you can generally manage to get a screw through even if the holes aren't exactly aligned. If you're building something that requires a bit of accuracy like a piece of furniture or a table and you don't want it to wobble ever so slightly, it's very important to make sure you have accurate measurements. So I recommend one of these things highly. Another good way to make sure that you do your straight lines and edges, and especially when you're trying to measure how far in on a piece of wood the holes are, the handy-dandy combination square is always a great tool to have. So what I use to make my grid beam, aluminum right angle template, table saw, and a drill press. That is the whole kit and caboodle. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions, please let me know.